Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody is having a great week so far, staying healthy, staying strong and being productive. Hi Kyber, uh, welcome Sammy. Good to see many of our members in the class and welcome uh, Pama Charmin, nice to see many of our students as well. Uh, in this class, we are looking at the writing section, specifically task two. Uh, we're going to be talking about those band nine essay skills, and I've got a brand new question for you today to go over and begin. Uh, this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Uh, visit us there. Uh, for the general IELTS, check us out at gieltshelp.com. That's generalieltshelp.com. On both of our websites, we have writing help for you. Uh, we have lots of materials for you to improve your communication and your English. Welcome, Carolina, our moderator, to the chat as well. This is our academic... IELTS website here with the blue background. You can click this big red button when you're on the website to get our premium package with HD videos, practice exams, apps for your phones. It is a one-time payment for uh, lifetime access, so uh, definitely well worth it. We are an official IELTS uh, registration center and uh, certified agents as well, so you're in good hands. And uh, our general IELTS website looks like this with the green background. You can click this big red button to join our premium package there. Of course, you will find that the reading and writing section on this website are specifically designed uh, for the general IELTS. You can check us out on Instagram as well, IELTS underscore A help, GLS help. You can download our apps, Academic IELTS Help and General IELTS Help. And uh, with all of our online software, you get the most advanced online IELTS course. If you have questions, uh, just write to me, adrian at aehelp.com. Uh, just a reminder, everyone, uh, especially members in this case, uh, channel members, we will have a Q&A session tomorrow. So... Uh, join us for that. And uh, now let's get into our task two question. So uh, task two writing, it's uh, 40 minutes. Arguably the single most challenging part of the IELTS exam, in my opinion, um, because it's the most subjective, we can say that. So it really depends on the examiner that's marking you, what kind of mark you're going to get. Um, they do have a marking scheme, uh, but again, writing's quite subjective. It's even more subjective than speaking. So you have to do a really, really good job. All right, Charmin, good luck on your exam on the 21st. Okay, everyone, so step number one, read the question. Uh, read the question slowly and carefully. Do not rush, Okay. Uh, here we go, task two writing. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Uh, let's read. Many advancements in technology are making people's lives easier. Users need to think and do less to achieve tasks. Uh, discuss the positives and negatives of this development and give your own opinion. You should write at least 250 words. Uh, band 9 essays are, in most cases, closer to 300, 350 words of well-developed ideas. So 250 is the absolute minimum. You do not lose scores for going over. You do lose scores for going under, okay? Um, Tom, yeah, it is absolutely possible for non-native speakers of English to get a band nine in the writing section. And it's, of course, also possible for native English speakers to not get a band nine uh, in the uh, speaking section. So definitely, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to darken the screen a tiny touch so you get a bit more contrast there. Okay. 
All right, so for this question, your first step to make sure that you clearly understand what's going on to conceptualize the information is to paraphrase the question. Now, paraphrasing the question is not necessarily your introduction, okay? Uh, band nine introductions are not just a paraphrase of the question. That is misinformation that a lot of students are seeing online and in other IELTS courses. So if you simply just paraphrase the question and say this essay will discuss the positives and negatives or the merits, demerits, uh, you will not get a band nine for that style of writing. Okay. Um, I, I, I productions, the examiner in the computer-based exam does not need to count the words um, because there's a word count. Uh, articles like the or a uh, or un, they do count as words. And in the paper-based exam, they count four or five lines, take an average, multiply by the number of lines, and then they have a fairly accurate word count. Okay, um, while I'm responding to these questions, uh, go ahead and uh, paraphrase uh, this question as much as you can, okay? All right. Kyber says, a lot of development in computers and machines are making individuals' lives simpler as users do not need to think a lot to obtain their goals. Um, write about the advantages and disadvantages of this notion and include your own perspective. Very good, Kyber. Okay, Rahul says, numerous improvements in technology, technological boom. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying, Rahul. Let me start that one more time. So, numerous uh, improvements in technology have become a boon for humans. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the same. Okay, yep, that works. Yeah, you're using boon as like... Um, uh, an aid. Yeah. Good. Manpreet is asking, when will the exam be conducted, sir? Uh, Manpreet, you have to reach out to your IELTS exam registration center where you registered for your exam. They're the only ones that can tell you when the exam will be conducted at their center. Okay. Oluwasola says, in recent times, there has been a widespread consensus about the uh, technological age where people's way of living has been simplified. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this? Uh, Kyber, um, paraphrasing itself is not really uh, deserving of a band level, but it was fairly good, Kyber. A um, couple of slight mistakes. Uh, I would say like a 7.5 off the top of my head. Okay. Rashika says, lots of technological developments are making individuals' lives convenient. They didn't, don't need to research to obtain goals. Discuss the advantages and uh, disadvantages of the, these um, developments and give your own perspective. Okay, very good. Yeah, so... Um, the progression in technology has enabled uh, humans to simplify uh, many <clears throat> tasks in daily life in order to obtain goals. Um, such that less effort is uh, needed. <clears throat> Express the advantages and disadvantages of this um, change and provide your own perspectives or perspective. Okay, uh, so here's my paraphrase. And uh, in this way now, I am certain that uh, I have a clear understanding 
of this question. So the progression in technology has enabled humans to simplify many tasks in daily life in order to obtain goals such that less effort is needed. Express the advantages and disadvantages of this change and provide your own perspective. Okay, so now I'm sure that I understand what this question specifically is asking me. I'm starting to collect some useful vocabulary and now I can really plan my essay. So when you're doing this at home, you have to practice uh, step by step uh, the uh, proper uh, approach to high band task to uh, writing. In the exam, when you're sitting there and you're actually getting into this 40 minutes of task two, uh, you need to understand the question and plan your essay in about uh, four or five minutes. So no more than four or five minutes. Okay. All right. Um, so what's my next step? So after I paraphrase the question, what do I do next? Okay. So I paraphrase the question. I have clear understanding. I can probably use my paraphrasing at some point in my introductory paragraph. Um, what do I do next? Okay. Uh, Sammy says you, you have to apply... Uh, some critical thinking. And Sammy, you're right, and in combination with Jai Neal. So Jai Neal says um, that you have to identify the topics and the controlling ideas. That's really important because you have to know what you're talking about, why you're talking about it. So in this case, um, what's the topic? What are we actually talking about? And when you're thinking about the topic, don't look at your paraphrase, but look at the original question. So many advancements in technology are making people's lives easier. So look at that original question to come up um, with the topic. Kyber says advancements in technology is what we're talking about. Um, I don't actually think that's what we're really talking about, Kyber. Um, Amit says technological advancements. Yeah, okay, Nishant, much better. So Nishant says new technologies reduce human effort. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, okay? So I agree, that's really what we're talking about. So. New tech reduces the need for human effort. This is what we're actually talking about, is the decrease in the need for human effort um, thanks to technology. Okay? Yeah, Rajveer, very good. So Rajveer says, advancements in tech make life easier. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, call deep, be a little bit more specific, but you're on the right track. So uh, reducing um, the effort for humans um, from technology. Yeah, okay. All right, good. Now you've, now you've got it. Now you're... Okay, so we're talking about the decrease in human effort as a result of technology. Um, and what's the controlling idea here? Oh, yes, Kyber, absolutely the topic could be a sentence. Yeah, definitely. There's no rule, um, students, that a to the topic of an idea or a question has to be one or two words. It could easily be a phrase, okay? Uh, so Ferdov says it, it's the pluses and minuses of this trend, okay? So the pros and cons of this trend, absolutely, yeah. So... The pros and cons of this trend and my personal opinion. 
Okay, the question asks for that. It says, what do you think, right? So what's your opinion? All right, um, so let's start that critical thinking that Janiel was talking about. So uh, what does it mean that um, technology decreases uh, human effort for goals? So what does that actually mean? Okay, so when we say that technology uh, lowers the demand um, for human effort, uh, what do we actually mean by that? Okay, so this is where you want quick, good, critical thinking so that you have some really good content uh, for your essay. So that's what we're working on here is that really good content. Okay. So Bernard says uh, sophisticated technology makes human work easier, uh, makes certain tasks automated. It saves time as well as uh, effort. Um, for Dov says the technology thinks and does for the humans. Okay. For Dobbs, I think you're thinking about the how a little bit. Uh, technology, Pamma says, frees up people's time. Okay. Kyber says, I mean that computers think and save a lot of time. Good. So uh, many people are now realizing that, yeah, time is often the great variable that feeds into most concepts. Uh, Rajvir says, tech helps to reduce the requirement of physical and mental effort to achieve goals. Yeah. So... Um, a reduction in the amount of physical and mental energy and uh, the amount of time needed to uh, accomplish uh, tasks through automation. or we could say technological automation. Okay, so what does it mean technology decreases human effort to achieve goals? Well, I would say it's a reduction in the amount of physical and mental energy and the amount of time needed to accomplish tasks through technological automation. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I, for Dobbs, I agree with you. Uh, basically, another way to say this is we need to think less, right? Okay. All right, good. Um, so, what's the next question? What's the next question? Um, again, I keep telling students this, and I know that students who are really paying attention to these lessons and send me emails... Uh, this is what many of the emails will ask me is, how do I know what question to ask? How do I know um, what's the right question? So Sammy says, why? And Sammy, you're, you're right, but can you write the full sentence question? So what's the full question? Not just why, because here we could say like, why what? There's a couple of different whys, okay? So... Ravi Mystery, the how is the third question. So how does technology help uh, to do all of this? That's going to be the third question, okay? Um, and this is where, Ravi, a lot of students make a mistake as they jump from the what question to the how question, but they forget about the why question. Um, so more importantly, we want to ask the why question, okay? Amit says, the question should be why technology decreases the effort for humans. Uh, according to Rahul, the question should be why uh, people are using technology. Um, Sammy says, why tech helps humans. Okay. Uh, Victoria says, in what way is this possible? Victoria, that's just a fancy way of asking how does it work? Okay, so that's the how question. All right. Um, Ferdov says, why is this trend popular? Okay, 
Uh, Nico says, how does technology decrease? So Nico, you're also jumping the why question. So notice students that there's um, clearly some of you who are saying why, but uh, sorry, some of you are saying how, but many of you are saying why. So you have to be clear here that the order of operations for critical thinking and logical thinking in most cases is what, why, how. Okay, so keep your thinking in this order when you're writing your paragraphs as well. All right. So David says, why is it important to determine technology's impact on society? Yeah, there's a good question, David. Absolutely. Okay. So because we are dealing with the topic, right? So uh, the topic is new tech reduces the need uh, for human effort, right? Um, so I think a very good question that uh, David is asking it related to this question, right, is uh, why is it important to determine technology's impact? So why is it important to determine technologies impact um, on uh, humans sure I think that's a good why question okay and another why question and I think it's kind of related that comes to my mind is um, why uh, do humans pursue um, easier living through technology, okay? So these two are kind of related. Let's answer them one at a time. Um, so let's start with the one that David suggested. I think it's a really good approach. So why is it important to determine technology's impact on humans? So why are we talking about this? And of course, uh, many of you that have taken lots of classes with me know that this is feeding directly into the background of the introduction. So why discuss this, okay? So why, why do we want to know that? Why do we want to know uh, technology's um, importance in this sense. Okay, so Amit says because millions of people use technology every day, uh, that's a very good argument. Okay, so one answer here would be uh, because most people rely on technology on a daily basis. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Ferdov says, because people want to live as kings and queens, not prince and princesses. The correct expression for Dobbs is because people always want to live as kings and queens. Okay. Um, Rajvir says, because it has a direct relation to human product, uh, productivity. Yeah. All right. Yeah, lots of good answers. Okay. So <clears throat> I would say, because most people rely on technology on a daily basis, um, because it is important to know the long-term outcomes of um, the dependence on technology. Okay, so we want to kind of predict the future. That's what humans do, right? We think about the future. We think about, hey, uh, if we keep going down this road, uh, will my children live a happy, healthy life? If suddenly we all discovered that this is a terrible direction, that um, we are all going to become overweight, uh, satile blobs of um, fat uh, that really don't do much, just uh, have technology kind of flying around us and taking care of us, uh, 
at some point we might say, whoa, 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 guys, let's try to slow down with technology and go a different direction because I don't want my grandchildren or my great grandchildren to be just giant blobs of people sitting in a floating chair uh, being catered to by technology, right? So, um, so we want to know what the long-term effects uh, will be of technology's uh, dependence or human's dependence on technology, okay? All right, um, and um, let's answer this question too. So why do humans pursue easier living through technology? So why do we have this great desire uh, for technology to minimize our efforts. Yeah, David's like, okay, I got you. It's like the Wally -E reference, right? Yeah, there's a reason why they came up with that idea, David. You bet they were probably sitting in a room um, and brainstorming about ideas just like us, okay? All right. So um, why do humans pursue easier living through technology? Why, why make life easier with technology, Sammy? So what's the reason for that? Okay. So Kyber says the reason why humans pursue simpler living through technology is that they want to spend their energy on other tasks as well as to save time. Yeah, I agree, Kyber. So uh, people want to use their time on activities they choose and enjoy uh, rather than what they must do, such as uh, daily work, okay? So that's kind of the difference between work and hobbies, right? So people want to spend their time with their hobbies and not with their work, so not tasks that they need to do uh, in order to uh, make a living or to um, do their necessary tasks such as brushing their teeth, cooking a meal, washing the dishes, right? We have dishwashers now. We have very advanced cooking machines as well. Um, so people want to spend it with activities that they choose, like playing video games, okay? Um, so uh, more effort invested into activities they want to do, and they want to uh, spend less energy. Yeah, a lot of you are writing that people are tend to be lazy and want to use less energy. So um, <laughs> it's a fair argument, okay? Uh, people want uh, to avoid um, energy demanding uh, labor, okay? So... Yeah, it's kind of interesting how this has really happened in modern society, but uh, people do not like to break a sweat. So there's a nice expression for you, break a sweat. Um, people these days, they don't like to sweat. So uh, if it means running to the bus stop and breaking a sweat or walking to the bus stop and being late for work and not sweating, many people will actually just walk to the bus stop and be late for work, right? Um, okay. So uh, the question is how. So how does uh, tech, this is the next question, how does tech uh, make people's lives easier? Um, and ha here you want to think of some examples. So think of examples. So what are some of the most recognizable um, what are some of the most recognizable examples of how technology uh, is making people's lives easier? There's a couple really funny ones that kind of pop into mind for me. Um, let's see if you come up with them. And again, sometimes thinking of examples uh, will give you a lot of clarity uh, for what you will write in the essay. Okay, so keep that in mind. Thinking of great examples... Uh, will enable, or sh I should say, empower you uh, to write amazing essays, okay? So this is that down-up type of thinking where you actually think of the example and then uh, think of your points. So um, 
Okay, so Maunder says working remotely. Okay. Via the internet. Um, Ferdov says, how about washing machine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, washing machine. Okay. There's one that really comes to mind from my generation. Uh, definitely where I'm like, I'm not sure I completely agree with that. Uh, I know some of you will uh, probably realize this as well. Uh, Kashir says Tesla, Neuralink. Uh, Prathamesh says elevators. Yeah, I think elevators is a really good example. That's not what I was thinking of, but um, that's definitely a really good example of technology. I live in a 14-story uh, building, and I'm always so amazed when one of my neighbors, who is young and able, will stop the elevator on the second or third floor to go down with the elevator. So I'm on the 11th floor. I'm going down with the elevator, and I expect that I'm on the ground floor, but no, the elevator stops on the second floor, and there's a young 20-year-old guy or girl that's like, oh, okay, I'm getting on the elevator to go one floor or two floors, and they don't have shopping bags in their hands or anything. I'm just like, uh, really? So, um, <laughs> LePay says elevator as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Saw a correction of then, then there, but I didn't see where I wrote that. So, um, okay. Um, yeah, so elevators. One that comes to mind for me are electric uh, scooters. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm really amazed at the popularity of those little electric scooters, and I think they are great. Uh, for certain uses, but it does worry me when I see young, healthy teenagers and young adults uh, using that kind of machine to go a couple of kilometers from their home to their school or from their home to their work rather than walk or use a mechanical scooter that you just kind of pedal on. Okay, that's kind of, yeah, so, all right. Um, so there's definitely a lot of examples that can make you think about the uh, utility of machines for humans. Okay, um, so um, what are the positives? And what are the negatives? The positives we already talked about. So people can spend more time on their hobbies and socializing. That's clearly the positives of technology making our lives easier. So people can spend more time and energy on their hobbies and socializing. Okay, uh, so then what are the negatives? Okay. Um, Uguman Nabieva, or sorry, Ugulhan Nabieva says, uh, the negative side is less physical activity. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, here's some vocabulary for you. So, um, low amounts of physical activity leading to muscular atrophy. Muscular atrophy means basically the muscles becoming weak. So the muscles of your body, your circulatory system, like your heart, okay? So Rashika says, just generally speaking, uh, health problems. Uh, Pama says people becoming lazy and under-motivated. Yeah, so low physical activity leading to muscular uh, atrophy and uh, little effort. Uh, leading to uh, decreased uh, motivation and achievement. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a give and take, right? It's that age-old story that uh, there can be no light without darkness. There can be no good without bad. Um, and uh, that also feeds directly into our sense of accomplishment or achievement. When we work hard to achieve a goal, then achieving the goal is that much sweeter. It's that much greater. When it doesn't take us much effort, then we don't really have that feeling of reward or that sense of achievement. Okay, um, so at this point, I mean, we can keep going down this uh, path deeper and deeper. It is the IELTS. We have 300, 350 words to express our ideas. We're not writing a two, 3,000 word um, essay for university. So we don't need to overthink it. Uh, as long as you've gotten this far, you're doing a great job. Uh, one last step is your opinion. Is it good or bad? And with a question like this, it's really easy to sit on the fence. So it's really easy to say, well, it's both good and bad. I think it's both good and bad. Um, but at the end of the day, you do want to give your opinion. Okay, so you do want to express your own position. And it always makes for a more interesting read um, when the author or um, the uh, messenger uh, has an opinion. Okay. Uh, so Ferdov says, I have a balanced opinion. Um, even if your opinion is a little bit balanced here, just go to one side or the other. Okay. So, all right. Don't, don't do a 50-50. It's easy to do a 50-50 here, but for the IELTS to make your essay stand out, uh, to make it a more interesting read, I would still recommend uh, doing one side over the other. Okay, so Pama says, I think it's good. All right. Um, yeah, the thesis will be coming up after this. So sure, we can say that it's good. Yeah, so here you can really go both directions on it. Um, it's just important to go one direction. It will make for a more interesting read, right? Okay, now we can come up with a thesis. Okay, the thesis is the last sentence of your introduction. It contains the key points of the essay, uh, and uh, it should be direct. Okay, a direct thesis clearly states the points of the essay. It doesn't just simply say this essay will discuss the negatives and positives. So uh, go ahead, everyone, and write your thesis statement. So based on what we have just discussed about the topic, the controlling ideas, um, the positives, the negatives, and your own opinion, let's all stick with the same opinion for this one. Um, don't go to the negative just so that we can work through the same essay, okay? All right, so let's see some thesis statements. All right. Um, I don't really see any thesis statements there yet. Okay, I see some opinions. Uh, Faisal, in the thesis, you should really only have two points and your opinion. So point on positive, point on negative, and then your own point. Okay. So uh, Tom Henderson says, considering the enormous benefits brought on by the development in technology, um, the... This is mostly, you have to rethink that, Tom. It's a little bit redundant. It's awkward. So uh, rephrase how that reads. Okay. All right. Um, Sammy says, although technological advancements have certain negative impacts on society, I personally believe it makes 
energy. Okay, good. I like it, Sammy. So you're being very clear and direct here. Uh, Rajveer says, although there are some clear negatives of, rely of over-reliance on uh, technological advancements, I believe uh, these evolutions are a blessing for humans as it saves time and energy. Okay, good. All right. Uh, Kyber writes, although some individuals believe that this notion could lead to some health problems, such as muscular atrophy, I believe that it could save a lot of time and energy as this could be invested in other activities, such as spending time with family. Okay, good, Kyber. Uh, it's a good thesis. Just don't go into too much detail. So spending time with family and muscular atrophy, I would save those for the body paragraphs, okay? Because I think that's too much detail. Uh, for IELTS. Okay, Little Mermaid says, in my opinion, the overall influence that technological breakthroughs have on people's lives is positive as they save both human energy and time while enabling them to be better at communication. All right, Little Mermaid, you're just answering half of the question. Uh, students, remember, and this is why it's good to reread the original question. So the original question is, uh, discuss the positives and negatives of this development. So you have to do both and you have to give your own opinion. Okay. All right. So my thesis would be something similar to what many of you are writing. So um, the demand... Okay, uh, let me be a little bit more specific here because we still have the rest of the introduction. Um, the uh, deficits of over-reliance on technology are physical and mental deterioration For humans. However, I believe that the positives can be more significant, such as saving uh, time and energy for uh, healthy and social activities. So uh, here is my thesis statement. Uh, by this, my body paragraph are crystal clear. Um, so the deficits of over-reliance on technology are physical and mental deterioration for humans. However, I believe that the positives can be more significant, such as saving time and energy for enjoyable, healthy, and social activities. Okay. All right. So by this, now my reader has a crystal clear idea of the direction that my essay is going to go. So let's start this essay now uh, with the introduction. Right. It should start with the hook. Okay. Uh, the hook is a very, very short, simple sentence that introduces the topic of the question, the essay, uh, to your reader and catches their attention. And yes, um, the hook is important uh, in the IELTS for those higher band scores, okay? Uh, when you're thinking about the hook, um, you should be thinking about 10 to 12 words maximum, right? Rahul says, technology has become a part and has become part and parcel of daily lives. Yeah, okay, I, I like that, okay. Uh, Kyber says, people want advancements in technology as they want to 
live simpler and not break a sweat. Okay, good for you, Kyber, to use that expression that I mentioned. I think it's too much, like it's a little bit too long, a little bit too complicated. Simplify, okay. Lepe, I see your thesis, it's okay. Uh, Sammy says, technology plays a major role in individuals' lives. Um, how about something even simpler? So... Um, humans have become extremely dependent on technology these days, right? Uh, I think if you look around and you see people, uh, hugging their mobile phones, um, we realize how true this is. Or when you see people, uh, that misplace their mobile phones and they panic, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Um, can you imagine 50 years ago? Where's the phone? Where's the phone? People would be like, what's wrong with that person? Um, anyway, it is what it is, right? That's the world we live in. So um, introduction, uh, humans have become extremely dependent on technology these days, right? Okay, uh, that will catch your um, reader's uh, attention, right? Okay, um, so now the background. The background is definition and importance of this question. So uh, what do we mean by um, dependence on uh, technology? What do we mean by uh, making people's lives easier uh, through um, technology? Okay. And why is it important? Okay. So... On a daily basis, people simplify their lives by using uh, technological aids to communicate, work, and travel. The long-term effects of this um, interdependence or this relationship with technology uh, warrants further uh, investigation. Okay, that's exactly what we discussed, right? And then uh, comes the thesis. Okay, so uh, I know that most of you who are in the class from the beginning will be able to do this because all we're doing here is we're really using what we already uh, came up with um, in the planning stage of this essay. So uh, now I just put in the thesis and here we go. So here's my introductory paragraph from start to finish. So humans have become extremely dependent on technology these days. On a daily basis, people simplify. Um, let's make some corrections here. So uh, this is what I mean by reviewing each paragraph when you're finished. So humans have become extremely dependent on technology these days. Um, on a daily basis, comma... Okay, and I don't want to uh, use the word days and daily close together like that, okay, um, in modern times, so it'll read better. Uh, not simply their lives, but simplify their lives, okay. All right, let's do this again. So humans have become extremely dependent on technology in modern times. On a daily basis, people simplify their lives by using technological aids to communicate, work, and travel. The long-term effect of this relationship with technology warrants further investigation. 
The deficits of over-reliance on technology are physical and mental deterioration for humans. However, I believe that the positives can be more significant, such as saving time and energy for enjoyable, healthy, and social activities. Okay, that reads well, so I'm confident that I'm on the right track. I've got some good writing. And you can always further, further improve your writing. Um, like for humans here is not necessary, it's understood. Okay, you want to be as concise as possible. All right, so um, review, review, review. Okay, so we don't need humans there. Okay, um, humans in the beginning, uh, who's suggesting that? I think it should be humans with an S. Humans, yeah, have become extremely dependent sure you always want to avoid mistakes in your hook as well so go back and review your introduction make sure your introduction is clean crisp and strong okay all right okay students so that's the introduction and i'm going to stop there for now uh if my voice is cracking no worries because we're just coming to the end of today's lesson and i'll definitely fix it for the start of the next one I'm not going to tinker with it now. Um, all right. Uh, if you have uh, more questions about writing, just send me an email. My email is adrian at aehelp.com. If you have an essay, we can give you a free score estimate on what you would likely get. Okay. Uh, and uh, I highly, highly recommend visiting and joining our premium packages at aehelp.com for academic IELTS and gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Oh, by the way, we will finish this essay tomorrow at the same time. So we will write the body paragraphs and the conclusion. Um, in the meantime, gieltshelp.com, green background, big red button, get the premium package. It doesn't cost a lot. You get a lot of materials, a lot of great strategies and practice. You get apps, etc. cetera. Uh, aehelp.com. Click that big red button. We are an official IELTS registration center and certified agent, so you are in good hands. Um, that's it for me for today. And I hope to see all of you tomorrow. If it's the start of your day, then I hope that you have a great, productive uh, rest of the day. If it's the end of your day, then sweet dreams to you. Uh, and I am Adrian, signing out from Victoria in Canada. Bye, everyone. Much love to all of you.